Yeah, I think one thing that's really interesting is we talk about these standards, we talk about these movements in the industry and all the trends that we've seen happen in the process industry over the last several years. You know, we can have the best laid plans in the world. I mean, we're both veterans. We've seen plans go bad. You have to have a secondary and a tertiary plan because you know the first thing that you do is probably not going to work. And I think that uh, a lot of times you need the right person or the right organization inside of a big company to make some of these changes really happen. You know, I like to use the word organizational courage because sometimes it takes a lot of uh, a lot of courage for someone in the company to say we're going to do something different than we've always done. Right, and there's strength in numbers, and so. That, that's one of the common pieces of advice I give to a client that will say something to the effect of, I'm jumping up and down on my desk, begging leadership to, to, to approve this purchase order because we need to improve something. It doesn't have to be cybersecurity, but it, they need to improve something. And my biggest piece of advice to that is, okay, then you need to grab somebody in safety. You need to get some sort of cross-functional team together to build this coalition where you bring a front to the leadership and they're not going to be able to deny you that. Yeah, if you, can, if you can take that team and come up with a dollars and cents reason to do something different than they're doing today, that's where you really, that's where you really make a change. You don't necessarily always need a single person. Like you said, you need a, a, you need a group of folks. You know, there's strength in numbers for sure. And uh, I love that word, organizational courage, to have a sponsor, an executive sponsor, because the best laid plans just don't matter if the guy writing the check doesn't agree with what you're doing and if you can't you can actually put it together in paper and quantitatively uh, prove this is the thing you need to do. Right and, I, and I've seen the success for this whenever we I see companies that are developing like a business continuity plan or disaster recovery plan because you at that point you have to have cross-functional team if you need all hands on deck after an event right then everybody's going to be it's almost like a bad version of a shutdown turnaround doing a BCP or a DRP type of thing. And if you don't already have those cross-functional ties and those relationships, you're gonna have a hard time with it. Yeah, that's right, I agree.